Social workers in line for a pay rise say it's been a long time coming, but they're pleased they're finally being recognised for the responsibilities and long hours in what's a tough job. Today, a pay equity settlement between Oranga Tamariki and the union that represents its social workers, the Public Service Association, was signed. The $114 million package has been signed off by Cabinet and will result in social workers receiving an average pay rise of 30% over the next two years. That means the starting salary for a qualified social worker of $46,000 a year would rise to $54,000 once this settlement has been ratified. Laura Dooney was at this morning's announcement. Tina Corrigan's been working for Oranga Tamariki and its previous iterations for 15 years, mostly as a care and protection social worker. I love my job. There are days where I think I'm not going back to work tomorrow. There's been lots of them. There's a lot of really hard days and it can be a thankless job. And it can be a job where you feel like you're pushing against the stream all the time. But at the end of the day, working with the kids just makes it all worthwhile. Miss Corrigan says now an agreement on pay equity has been reached. They can go to work tomorrow feeling valued, needed and respected. It is a taxi job. It is stressful. It's demanding. I can't tell you the last time I finished work on time. You know, we work after hours, we're available 24-7. We're with people in the worst time in their life in crisis. So little celebration. So when you do have a celebration, it's amazing, but it's not an everyday thing. Miss Corrigan and Rachel Baxter Mackay are two of the three women who, with PSA, lodged the pay equity claim in 2015. Miss Baxter Mackay says social workers never know what to expect each day at work and we do work freaking hard. I don't think any of us would work 40 hour weeks uh, and not many people can work with the um, clients that we work with. You know, none of them really want to work with us, so none of them are you know, happy to see us when we knock on their door. With rising living costs, she says the extra money will make life easier for her and her colleagues. We'll actually be able to afford to pay our rent and still have money at the end of it. And some, I know some of our team really struggle to do all that day-to-day -day stuff because of the, our wage has been so, so little. Just day-to-day -day stuff it means that we're actually, we can afford to have our life, you know, have a better standard of life. The Minister for Children, Tracy Martin, says the pay equity settlement is about telling social workers the government values what they do. As a woman who knows social workers and knows the incredible work that they do and the flack that they take from us as a society when the complex situations they work in sometimes don't come out perfect, this is recognition that there is a skill level here that has not been valued at where it should have been. The announcement has ignited calls from the social services providers Aotearoa for social workers who work for non-governmental agencies that are contracted by Oranga Tamariki to also get a pay rise. Oranga Tamariki Chief Executive Gronya Moss says those conversations are underway. We've actually been working to understand what the potential impact might be for NGOs, so I'll be on the phone immediately and the PSA and ourselves have already had discussions about how do we take a system-wide lens and how do we ensure that we learn from this process for the benefit of uh, social workers and NGOs. For social worker Miss Corrigan, today is about more than just money or recognition. I wanted my, myself and my colleagues to be paid accordingly and I wanted my daughter to know that society is changing and things are going to be better for her and for my granddaughters. PSA union members will vote on the new settlement at meetings in October before it's ratified. The first phase of the new salary range could be in place as soon as the 1st of December. In Wellington for Checkpoint, call Laura Dooney, 10A.